Hello and welcome to Spring Commander Forge Alliance. We're on Seraphim Glaciers, a ranked game between Patch, Rico, and Zok. I am really happy to see that Zok is back. He always said that he was going to leave, but it looks like he didn't, which is great because he is definitely the only one who can put up a challenge against uh, Blackheart. Uh, the hopes of Lucian getting back his old form were kind of dashed. Although I haven't really seen those games and the map names look uh, really weird in that best 15. But uh, Zok definitely is one player who can put up a battle. And that's probably one um, best 15 I would be willing to sponsor in the future. Pecherico, of course, uh, always up there near the top. Actually, I looked at the ladder ratings. I might just throw that picture in the beginning of this video. Um, Pecherico is number two, Sox number one, and looks like Blackheart doesn't play the ladder anymore, which is weird. His global rating, though, is beyond anybody, and when it's any kind of tourney and he's in it, he pretty much wins it. So it's all up to Zock. A battle between two uh, Germans. Zlaw is always in the background as well, and Pecherico, of course, is from Ukraine. Um, but yeah, that's that's where the good players are in Supreme Commander Forge Alliance today. On this map, second air is a standard. But I guess first air would be alright as well. A lot of early reclaim, a lot of uh, mass on the island. This middle island has a lot of mass extractors. So actually getting that is uh, fairly valuable, plus putting uh, omnis or radar or naval bases. Uh, overall, a fairly interesting map when, once you get used to it. If you haven't, if you're not used to looking at this, it can be quite uh, daunting and it's uh, quite a bit depressing. But you can see overall, based on what Fetcherico is doing, you just gotta grab as much mass you can and spam power. So you want to get to that level where your build capacity and power can compete with the mass income, and at the same time, you don't want to overshoot it too much. But ideally, if you're grabbing map control, you you should never stop spamming power. So something like four or five engineers on the power spam early on is uh, fairly common. Looks like Zok. Interesting. Spamming power and uh, factory at the same time. Usually people take turns. Let's actually look at the economy. It looks uh, very good. He's reclaimed 700. He's got three engineers expanding. Echerico very similar plus another and uh, overall nearly identical Scout first from both players. Scout is very nice especially when you're low on power It's uh, on a large map like this uh, fairly quick across the map Gets you that early warning for example if your enemy is trying to rush a quick transport which Zok is gonna do So this uh, scout needs to spot that as soon as possible So scout transport versus scout interceptor theoretically the interceptor should win if Fetcherico's paying attention, I think Zok may have just uh, dodged that. No, it's got an attack move. And he's not spotting it. So Zok being extremely lucky. Actually, this interceptor is going to run in. Zok will see it, but I think uh, just with a single interceptor. It will not be enough. So Zok with a very quick grab. Interesting to see here. This uh, distance I think is a little shorter than this distance, although it's fairly similar. And now Zok is going to have middle, which will give him a nice base of operations. A bomber coming in as well, but this is uh, five engineers. A very dangerous drop. Also a drop from Pachurico. So Pachurico should have air control plus he should be able to uh, get this drop successfully on the island, although it looks like it has been spotted by Zok. A bomber coming in. Multiple land factories. Interesting. Single engineer is killed by a bomber. Not a big deal. Maybe a bit of an air fight that should be won by Pachurico. Although it appears that Zok wants to go and try to intercept. Does... Uh, Another engineer is killed. I'm surprised they didn't. Yeah, here comes some flak finally. A bomber is taken out. I think uh, a couple flax here early on would have been even better if you got an air fight. Who's going to grab the top island? That's definitely a question that should be answered here in a little bit. 
in the power game Zoc is slightly ahead in terms of total interceptor numbers it's very similar but it's uh, side island versus middle island and I think side island is so much more reclaim here if Pachirico is able to grab this whole thing he'll be at an advantage looking back at the base Pachirico looks like he's gonna have a decorator here eventually another drop coming in for Pachirico he's got two engineers in the power spam and a bomber for Pachirico. So Pachirico thinking about grabbing both uh, the side islands. This has been uh, six minutes into the game. It has been uh, full of action so far. And uh, yeah, so air factory spam. In terms of build capacity, air factories just about as expensive as engineers in terms of mass. So it's always nice to see people spamming air factories. But sometimes people do get stuck on that single air factory and a whole bunch of land. You can see a lot of good players, they, especially on maps like this, a whole bunch of air factories. And then maybe one or two land factories, especially with Cybern, with the Jester. And that's something uh, we haven't mentioned yet, Cybern versus UEF. Definitely an advantage to UEF later on, but Cybern Navy is uh, famously dangerous. This will be critical. If this bomber from Pachirico can take out this drop, I think it might be in position of doing if Pachirico can. Oh, that's a good bomber. Oh, okay. <laughs> Run in different directions. The EF bomber does not drop off a bomb, but a huge air cover. Will Zog be able to finish? This is good spread of engineers. He should be able to finish. But a drop from Pachirico. That bomb was not very good. Oh, if that bomb was a little better, a PD is going to be started. And a Hunter, this is... If that PD is finished, this will be very nasty for uh, Zoc. And it is going to be finished. Although it probably should target those... Uh... If that Artie were to get out of uh, the way... Uh, look at the Medusa freezing. Freezing the PD. This is just bad targeting from Pachirico. He he had the that that PD should have killed everything. Should have first killed the hunters, then killed the Artie, then killed the factory. No problem. So there is going to be a battle over the top island, the middle island, firmly in Zox's hands. The left island, firmly in Pachirico's hands. And in terms of mass, slight advantage to Zox. Zox has been upgrading to Tech Two on his mass extractors. He also has tech to air, tech to power, first T2, Pigeon coming up. Very even on power. Do we see tech 2 anything from Pachirico? We don't, but we do see first signs of a navy. And transports all over the place. This will be interesting to see how much these two players decide to invest. I think uh, it's fairly critical that the, uh, the shift in map control will be massive for whoever wins this. So... Yeah, that's an interesting drop. We'll see what happens for Zoc there. And uh, here, Micro actually becomes critical. A lot of times, people are busy with something else. They just have a stream of units running in. They lose a lot of units, leaving a lot of reclaim. But if you can actually organize your units and build just enough, so at this point, we're seeing the fifth land factory coming up. We also already see four, fifth, six, so maybe a little more investment. Let me see what the heck that is. All right, so back. I see Tech 2 gunships. Tech 2 gunships from Zoc. This could be a key unit for taking over the top island. And perhaps a naval production will be started eventually in the middle. And uh, now a Tech 2 air factory for Pachirico who is making tech 2 pigeons of his own, so, so far, dead even. And I think those bombers did harass enough that uh, Zoc might have an advantage uh, on land in, ter in terms of total land factories, but Zoc a little more power now, he does have those gunships standing by, he does not have air control, and uh, after 10 minutes, I gotta say, in terms of the total number of interceptors produced, this has been fairly low for these two players, I think. Two engineers had dropped. I don't think they're gonna do anything, so a bit of a waste from Zoc. A drop from 
Pachurico. So yeah, once you got it at one of these islands, it's fairly straightforward to take one of these small islands and then continue dropping onto the main island, the starting point. These are very defenseless units, except for those gunships, of course. As uh, the land battle continues to rage, the mix of units, uh, we do see a couple Lobos here from uh, Pachurico. But uh, numbers, I think it is going to be numbers for Zok. Pachurico pulling away a little bit on mass. More air factories. No gunships or bombers or torpedo bombers. And uh, the gunships are finally going to make it into this game as a transport from Pachurico. Uh, it's definitely a ballsy transport there. And it uh, looks like after the first battle, uh, it's going to belong to Zok which will leave them with a nice chunk of reclaim. At this 100 uh, mass income mark, uh, we might see a big naval spam. Somebody might switch and, because a cruiser from UEF here would be absolutely deadly. You could turn these battles. Actually, a cruiser from Cyber here would be very, very good as, as well. As we're seeing a gunship from Pachurico that is very lost. However, it has been, has been spared. And now Zok is poised Tech 2 air with Tech ten, tech 1 land. Bet you we can invest a little more into land here. The 7th land factory coming up, but no tech. It's all Tech 1. I think it's going to be a massacre. As gunships from Zok are going to uh, harass the left island. This uh, You're not on vacation. you got to go to work. Let's see how... But Chirica decides to defend this. Maybe a couple PDEs. He does have some Tech 1 flak. He's got a... Uh, yeah, I don't see any more gunships here, so that's nice. There is a single Tech 1 PD, and perhaps some walls here would be nice. But uh, this is a big land spam from Zok. As gunships from Zok continue to harass, and uh, Pachirica is still a bit ahead. And these gunships have just been killing with impunity. 16 kill gunship for Zok on the other side. 3, yeah, he had that tech to air quite a bit earlier than Pachurico. And now uh, Zok has air control, which he's using quite well. These frigates are beginning to make it onto the field of battle from Pachurico. Uh, just the first signs of Navy, minute 13 for Zok. So see what an effect those frigates can have. Um, so far they have been... Yeah, they shouldn't be floating around here. Gunships and torpedo launchers will take care of them. Tech 2 or air transport, Tech 2 drop with Tech 1 units, I'm assuming. But so far, the gunships for Zok have been the best move of this game. As Pachurico is in the process of losing the top island. Let's actually check out the reclamation numbers at this point 6,700. Pachurico, 8,000. Pachurico, so much in the bank. Pachurico has options. But uh, Zok, even though he's slightly behind, this is basically even, he's going to get a huge boost once he gets all those mass extractors plus all the reclaim. And uh, given that he has uh, air control and he's got tech to gunships, a couple tech transports, he can take this force and drop it directly onto uh, Pachurico's main base. So things are not looking too good for Pachurico. He's lost that major, first major battle of this war that we have on Seraphim Glaciers. Uh, he has been building up a fairly big air force and a micro mistake from Zok. He's thrown away a lot of gunships. Still gunships going to work on his main base, but now I think uh, it's going to go down to micro and uh, I'm liking the micro from Pachurico a little better there and I think he's going to win a major air fight which will uh, give him perhaps a way back to even things out so quite a bit of reclaim and uh, a lot of tech 2 gunships were thrown away you can see all these each one of those is 200 mass so thousands thousands of mass units scattered all over the ocean floor and Pachurico's main island notice how Zok has uh, paused everything here he's made a air, fa uh, air factory to make transports so drops are gonna come in and we're gonna see tech 2 gunships now from Pachurico he's going to attempt to counterattack on this island and hopefully that's driven by strategy not emotion a lot of times when you lose an island like this or you lose a battle 
you try to attack your enemy exactly in the same position and oftentimes that's definitely not the best way to go because I mean he does have a whole bunch of units here although here if he preferentially targets the flak I think he can easily kill all this and perhaps it would be better to uh, attack all all the factories although I don't think these are really such valuable targets to spend your time on if you're Pachirico. Gunships being built up in the middle. I really think this is the juiciest target against Zuck. If you have air control and you have gunships, just go over here and start killing that. Force something out of Zuck. As Zuck is going Tech 2 Navy, Tech 2 Navy already for Pachirico, who's working on a cruiser. That cruiser will be critical. A major. Uh, I guess the air battle is no longer <laughs> in progress. It's been won by Pachirico, but a lot of flak, a lot of Tecmo flak. You can see these have been unpaused. Spamming engineers and Tecmo flak, you don't want to fly over all that. If you're Pachirico, Pachirico will continue to assault Tech 2. Riptides, yes. Riptides, a uh, great floating tank. Very expensive, but uh, very high fire rate. A lot of health. Uh, you can't use the pillar, you gotta use the Riptide. Cruiser is out. Where is it gonna go? Yeah, in my personal opinion here, uh, I would not assault that base anymore. Um, maybe fake it with one or two gunships to force something out of Zok. Try to get an air cover here so you don't get dropped and then assault where Zok really invested into his eco. Zok is now ahead on mass. He's got 15, 16,000 reclaimed Pachirico, 11,000, and you know where those thousands came from. Although, there's still a lot of reclaim available for Pachirico after that air fight. Pachirico has been upgrading to Tech 2. He's got multiple Tech 2 pigeons. I think a uh, resource allocation here for these two players at this point might be a possibility as we're seeing gunship on gunship battles. That does happen sometimes, and uh, here there are no winners except the gunship that did not participate gunships from Zok and these units are very effective very expensive I'm not sure if that's the best choice to assault a bunch of tech one mass extractors and to leave a lot of reclaim to make 200 mass um, you need a hundred seconds for a tech 2 mass extractor so basically if these if you rebuild it in two minutes uh, you've made them if you rebuild your uh, tech one mass extractor and you reclaim that gunship wreck uh, you've basically not lost anything if you're Pachirico cruiser any more cruisers yeah multiple cruisers just basically cruiser spam as yeah and it looks like a third destroyer one cruiser is gonna go up to the top island the other one is uh, gonna meet a whole bunch of subs it's all really nice to see Zaki Zok uh, yeah Tech 1 subs, this is a mistake from Pachirico, you know, he's gonna lose that cruiser. Uh, the fact that he went all frigate and no submarine, as we're also seeing some Tech 2 submarines. And however, now the destroyer, but a destroyer can take on a bunch of subs, but it's, it takes such a long time for a UEF destroyer to kill a submarine. Only 30 DPS on the submarine, uh, on the torpedoes versus uh, over a hundred for say a cyber destroyer as uh, this is a support naval factor with a half build destroyer getting assaulted by a couple frigates but this is a major frigate force for Zok. Zok is really heavily invested in his navy Let's see is he getting resource allocation? Zok's about to get resource allocation which means tech 3 air is a possibility soon some transport standing by and this is such a heavily teched up base here for Zok. This is where he's almost got 200 mass and absolutely no defense. This is where his precision, uh, an air fight somewhere else and a couple tech two uh, transports full of Lobos can really ruin Zok's day. Of course he does have, well he used to have gunships that could respond to this, but I don't see any gunships anymore. They have died in these battles. Pachirico has had air control for the last few minutes he's now uh, got torpedo bombers taking care of uh, submarines a major piece of scouting and uh, this is a lot of build capacity for Pachirico in tech one 
naval factories. And if you're UEF, I think instead of all those naval factories, which are actually rather expensive in such large numbers, it'd be nice to rush Tech 3 um, Navy. A battle cruiser here in this type of battle, which uh, the first battle cruiser is always very expensive because you got to get uh, that Tech 3 uh, HQ. But uh, that battle cruiser basically uh, destroys everything. Another really good possibility if you were to get uh, if Petro Rico were to get Tech 3 engineering with air is to get the Atlantis. Especially when uh, Zok is using these submarines. Still total air control, but it's frigates versus destroyers, cruisers. And yeah, these destroyers, they're gonna wipe the floor with these uh, frigates from Zok. A major piece of reclamation coming up with these. Those Inti's just getting shredded here by frigates. A lot of reclamation coming up. As we're also seeing the Wagner. Wagner is a tricky unit because you can't see it coming unless you got sonar. And uh, yeah, I think this is where taking... And Petrik was a sentence player. I can really say he, he needs to pounce on that reclamation field. Here, minute 23, a destroyer for uh, Zok denying these max structures. These max structures have been denied for most of the game. Nothing has really happened up on top for a long time. It's belonged to Zok. He's cleaned up on that island. He's now 250 uh, mass income, 23,000 reclaimed, a whole bunch of power. He's wasting a little bit. Is he going tech 3 air? He's got tech 3 air. He's also spamming tech 3 pigeons. Nukes on this map, always a possibility at this stage. Pachirico is behind. He's behind on reclaim, he's behind on power. But he did just start his resource allocation, which once he finishes, he can go to tech 3 air. And uh, yep, yeah, he's all over this reclaim. This is so much reclaimed. This is enough, I think, to bridge that gap. He can invest in two or three Tech 3 mass extractors from all this reclaim, even things out. But he does have this uh, issue of Tech 3 air. And this Tech 3 air, if Zok uh, chooses to, he can uh, make a couple strats or even a couple whalers, the Tech 3 uh, gunships. And I think those can take on this entire island. This island is very vulnerable for Pachirico. And if Petro Rico loses this island, it'll leave a lot of reclaim and uh, multiple Tech 3 mass extractors that he's invested into. This is where it's also an HQ here. A couple Tech 2 flags might be good. As frigates harassing Wagner's frigates. So, three of the four small islands now look like are going to belong to Zok. This is a small island, also fairly heavily invested into. This is one of those maps where I think uh, investing into Tech 3 mass extractors in a safe position is better than investing in Tech 2 mass extractors elsewhere. An air fight which is fairly critical and I think, yeah, well this is definitely going to be lost by Pachirico. So Pachirico is going to lose air for the first time in about 10 minutes. This is going to be bad, although he has just finished resource allocation. Still uh, way behind on um, power. That's a difference of about 2 Tech 3 pigeons, and I would not be surprised to see a nuke here from uh, Zok, especially given that this this position is so critical. Perpetua Rico is now rushing Tech 3 air submarines for Zok. It's really nice when they're stacked like that. They're just shooting with impunity. Cooper trying to deal with it. Yeah, it always sucks to uh, have your submarines take on Coopers. Coopers very deadly against submarines. Very good on torpedoes. Gunships is uh, the name of the game for Zok. Tech 3 gunships, very slow, but very deadly. Has Tech 3 scouts coming out as well. What, what could be, uh, I mean, a single advantage here for uh, Pachirico? What, what is it? Um, and he's got a, f a little bit of a naval advantage, which has cruisers, so he can do something with that. I mean, it's he's actually, that has provided him a lot of anti-air in this position. That might be one of the reasons Zog didn't try to risk strat bombers to try to snap uh, 
Pachirico is now beating on Tech 3 Mask Extractor. And also, this is a great looking frigate. It's not shooting anything, but you can see what it's doing. It's got radar on it. It's giving uh, intel if anything's happening. Plus, it's uh, looking into this island. And it's always scary looking at a EEF Navy. It looks much bigger than it really is on radar. And uh, I got to say, this Navy from Zok is fairly thin. There are all those subs which will die very quickly to destroyers and coopers. The rest is mostly um, frigates. As a Tech 3 air assault with whalers is going to go directly against Pachirico's base. Pachirico has got ASF of his own. He will preferentially target the whalers. And uh, this is where putting uh, some Tech 2 flak would be really nice. Also some Tech 1 AA. At least one tech to mask tractor is dead, but only a single whaler. It was critical to kill one of those whalers. The other whaler will be turned back. Another whaler is going to go up against uh, an expansion island. Nothing but flak on the top. And uh, yeah, Zok, we've seen at the tech 2 stage and at the tech 3 stage, the way he's using his gunships, they're uh, assaulting on multiple positions. And that's really the way to go. It makes your force look bigger and it's much more difficult to defend against. Although this whaler probably, even though it's tech 3 versus tech 1, this is numbers. Strat bombers for Zok. This is where you don't want to have your strat fly over uh, cruisers for no reason. And uh, Zok, we can see this huge advantage in terms of eco now. That advantage really rows you can see tech 3 mask extractors zok upgrading one mask extractor at a time huge build capacity spamming strats huge power yeah zok playing this extremely well he's perhaps this is the weakness is that he is neglected uh investing in the navy as we see whalers take on uh tech 2 flak yeah Pechirico really uh losing a lot of his mass production. This island had a couple tech to mass structures which are no longer there. As uh, Zok has made the best of his uh, submarines. A lot of reclaim now available. And Pechirico, I think if Pechirico has any chance he needs to use reclaim on this map. Thrown away whalers. Whaler is a 1200 mass cost uh, so you don't want to just leave those wrecks it's about 2500 mass just sitting there for Pachirico cost of about uh, uh, yeah it's basically half a tech 3 mass extractor cruisers for Pachirico it's nice uh, arguably the best uh, tech 2 units from uh, the EF Navy is the cruiser arguably the best uh, tech 2 unit from Cyvern, although this is uh, the Tech 2 Navy for Cyvern is just so awesome. All their units are great. And you can see what a Cooper can do. You see all that first wave of, uh, of torpedoes just got deflected. That's what they'll do for you, but when you're facing such a large amount. Submarine warfare in this uh, game is something so rarely appreciated. It's really almost never appreciated just because this game is so large but it is uh it's quite awesome so much has been i mean i don't know i it always boggles the mind how so much was put into this game compared to most games that you might see so much detail that nobody will ever see it's it's something like uh when if you're in like producing some sort of product or if you're doing something you always have this dilemma how much of your great ideas do you um, put out in a single piece of work that you sell or you give if you're an artist you don't even have that type of a question but if you're a businessman you're going to spread out your ideas as much as possible so that's when you can really tell something that is made for consumption versus something that is really made for making it. So, as I spent about 30 seconds trying to explain what I'm talking about, 
that's really the one good definition for us selling out versus making something for people as Zoc is way oh look at that power where's the nuke he's got an anti nuke he's playing extremely safe Zoc's playing extremely safe take three power spam for uh, Pachirico but look at this such a focused area for Pachirico this is also fairly focused for Zoc so both players will be vulnerable against nukes except of course now there's an anti nuke for Zoc where is the Tech 3 Navy? Here it is, a battle cruiser. A battle cruiser as Yeah, this island isn't really an asset anymore for Pachirico. His only asset is his main base. Where he's sitting on one Tech 3 mass extractor. He's got at least two. He's got four Tech 3 mass extractors. Versus Zoc. Who's got 31,000 reclaim and eight tech 3 mass extractors, and that's really where that difference is. Plus, all that. The middle island, though, for Zoc has been destroyed, as we're also seeing Zoc with a really nice positioning of these destroyers. He's using the range. These are cruisers trying to use their missiles, and this is actually where you don't want to stand uh, too long in one spot if you're Zoc but yeah if you ever get hit by a missile it's your own fault because you didn't micro but a great use of positioning you can see how this island has broke up the uh, formation of Pachirico's uh, forces kind of spreading them out and that was another fairly big victory there for uh, Zoc I think uh, it did need to happen because most of uh, Pachirico's forces were not engaged. Still a lot of reclaim in the middle. The reclaim numbers, uh, Zoc was at 31,000, still at 31. Pachirico 60,000, so this is really what's been keeping him in the game. As the power number 4, Zoc continues to just escalate. And the nuke, minute 35, Zoc working on a nuke. And that's something... That will be very difficult to counter. Pachirico, short for mass, reclaiming his tech 2. Pigeons, what he needs to do is he needs to scout. He needs to scout that nuke and get an anti-nuke of his own. And uh, he is getting a battle cruiser into his fight. He's spamming quite a bit of shields for his navy to uh, attempt to compete with Zoc. As, yeah, his uh, island here is just getting demolished. Yeah, he's spamming too many shields. Also, gunships, the broadsword. Huge damage on that uh, gunship. And uh, looks like a naval victory here. I think Zaka overextended. He had that small victory and now decided to push and to win and, uh, up against the superior force plus torpedo bombers for Pachirico. And uh, this is bad, plus multiple battlecruisers, multiple battlecruisers. If it wasn't for this nuke, I would say Zoc is in trouble, but Zoc has this nuke which can uh, basically end the game for Pachirico given the way his base looks. What Pachirico needs to do is he needs to scout. He has no idea. And it's very difficult to scout in a game like this. I will attempt to not forget to post a picture of the APMs for these two players at the very end. I imagine Pachirico is probably over 100. And APM over 100 in this game is uh, a lot bigger than APM over 100 in some other games where you just click, where you just do this when you micro and you just, and it's like, okay, you're clicking fast. Here it's really a lot of more uh, strategic and tactical. As we're seeing Tech 3 versus Tech 1 on the air, battle cruisers. Same range as the Cyber Destroyer, way more health, and uh, the beam here doesn't miss, unlike the Cyber Destroyer beam. Plus, when the Cybers are retreating, this is where a turning tail and running uh, is not very effective for Cyber Destroyers. Yeah, cruisers coming in, engineers for Pachirico reclaiming. Pachirico, if he has any hope to win, he needs to assault now, and he needs to do so much damage that he can even survive a nuke 
Another thing that he can do is he can go scout. As we might see in air fight here, and if Becherico isn't paying attention, I think he doesn't have numbers anyway. So I bought 40 ASF, way more ASF. Yeah, basically two to one numbers. Zoc will demolish that Navy. There are a couple broadswords which will die as well. And now finally scouts, they will see the nuke. It's only a third of the way done, so if Pachirico hurries, he can make an anti-nuke. I think he has the time. If he invests now, builds the anti-nuke, the anti-nuke can be completed much faster than the nuke. But uh, the time is slipping away. And Pachirico has no excuse now because he has seen it. He has seen the nuke. Of course, when you make that anti-nuke and you've just lost Tech 3 air, that is a prime target for a snipe. So, Tech 3 Navy versus nuke, what will win? If that nuke... Oh! Alright, that's serious. That is serious. Oh, those battle cruisers, they need to come home, they need to get under their shields and next to their cruisers. And, uh, this is just a single cruiser is not going to be enough. Zok is just masterfully showing how to play this game. He, yeah, Pachirico has just been chasing him this entire game. Another piece of scouting. Yeah, this is the second time you're going to see that nuke. Is that going to be enough for you to know? Shield is not going to help. Oh, yeah. You, yeah. Yeah, the micro from Pachirico on the Navy has really been lacking. I think he really could have won this with the Navy if he if he was a little better with it. But now, this gunship force. I'm actually going to look and see the stats. So 233 damage per second from each whaler. So you can think about four whalers is 1,000 damage per second. So we're looking at about maybe 20 here. So we're looking at about 4,000 damage per second or so. which means destroyers disappear very quickly and that's oh uh, this nuke I think yeah we didn't even see that perhaps Pachirica thought if, if he has to invest 10,000 mass into an anti nuke that's just losing the game but if you don't you're gonna lose the game anyway because once you lose that you're done another air fight coming in there are some cruisers to help out but uh, more reinforcements coming in. A walking destroyer, 43 kills. Or Zok. Yeah, these cruisers can't uh, provide enough. Uh, I think these gunships can end the game now. They can come in and just kill the ACU. And uh, Zok's probably thinking there's got to be an anti nuke here. And you can see how he's timing that. He's timing that perfectly. If there is an anti nuke, he would have killed it. So he was already thinking ahead. But he's not even going to find the Antinic. So he's just going to shoot at Tech 3. <laughs> Tech 3 pigeons. Oh man. Betcha Rico. I think you're going to lose. Here, minute 40. I'm actually going to speed it up a little bit. Yeah. We need Zok versus Blackheart. Look at all this reclaim potential. This is where the battle battle took place. 41 minutes in, 31,000. The nuke is loaded. The obvious spot to nuke. Pachirico. Is he going to call it GG now? 97,000 reclaim for Pachirico. They're only, yeah, Zok hasn't reclaimed anything for like the last 10 minutes. I'm sure he's got, yeah, probably like 100,000 just sitting there if he need, needs it. And Pachirico is actually caught up on terms of math, but not on power. And uh, look at what happens to Pachirico Zico after this. That's a GG. Yep. Where is all that power coming from? From the resource allocation. 187, 153, it's over. Yeah. Yeah. Zok really sucks the face. He's got uh, some strats. He does not have a superior navy still. Although, he 
you might actually now even have that, given the major losses that Pachirico suffered. And, uh, yeah, there is nothing here anymore. Let's check out the kills. 186 kills, 186 big kills. Pachirico in the water working on uh, Tech 1. Um, naval factories. He has got no winning moves here. Look at uh, Zox's position. He has a Tech 2 uh, ACU next to shields, next to water. That way, uh, if you got strat bombs, you go into deep water. If you get torpedo bombs, you go under shields. This is where also getting stealth would be really nice if you're cyber. It's another battle cruiser. Yeah, I think that assault with those those battle cruisers were thrown away. If those battle cruisers had uh, together with them maybe like ten shields and ten cruisers, they could have had uh, hope. But gunships just absolutely deadly. So what we have seen is air control versus navy. But Pachirico calls a GG. Dominant from Zuck. Hopefully people enjoy this one.